So, uh, Epic, I just sent you a nice little uh, care package there. What did you find in the box? Uh, I opened up the box and I found an Imperial IPA from Worthy Brewing in Bend, Oregon. Yeah, man. It's, uh, I've been there. Been there, done that. It's a fantastic little brewery. Um, it is a very little brewery. Um, ben has about 16 or so microbreweries, and it's just a tiny little town in some Oregon that really nobody from outside of Oregon necessarily knows about. Except for the nice. Yeah, it's a little desert town. Uh, it's it's pretty sweet actually. It's all a bunch of hippies and all that good stuff. But yeah, so uh, I, I have the exact same bottle sitting in front of me, and uh, figured we would uh, get together and do a little beer review, a little TDC or you see drinking review here. Sounds good to me, man. So uh, I'm gonna lay prone here on the battlefield for a moment and hope I don't get uh, killed. <laughs> You're still the settings. Alright, well I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Oh no no, we're cool. I'm good. Alright, well, then let me lay down again. I just spawned on you. Okay. Rendezvous yeah. under the missile. Yeah, rendezvous under the missile. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna pop the top on mine. Pour it into this worthy brewing glass that I have. Nice. I got one of those Sam Adams glasses that we're going into. Nice. Hey! My vehicle is damaged! Probably in here, but whatever. So anyway, uh, this beer looks pretty good. I can see a little Echo tiny bit of floaties. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, there's a dude. Oh, okay. We're good. Nope, we're good. He ran away. Alright. By the way, this this beer is, uh, oh, nope, I got a, oh yeah, tag. Alright, cheers, man. Let's cheers. First, first drink right here. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, very nice. So this beer is an 8.5% IBU. We're drinking it in a 22 format. Yep, pretty good. It's got uh, 85 IBUs. They should just call it the 85 is what they should call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's just Imperial IBU. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, they're, they're, you know, they're, they were kind of an up-class kind of joint. You know, they were, uh, they had really, really good food. They had a, if I, if I remember correctly, it was the one that was planning on building an observatory. Like I said, it's in the middle of the desert, so oh, nice. you get really good stargazing nice. stuff out there, so they're going to build an observatory on top of their brewery, um, where they also serve food and stuff. So, yeah. It's a nice, uh, kind of a creamy amber color. It's got a, uh, Pretty level taste, even taste too. It's not too, not You're too not, hoppy, but the hops are there. Yep, you can you can definitely taste them, but it's not uh, overpowering. Those are uh, those are local. Uh, yeah, local uh, hops, local hops. hops. Yep. Yep. That's always cool. Yep. In fact, most breweries thing. around here uh, grow their own hops, and if I remember correctly, they actually grew theirs on site at their brewery. Nice. Which is which was kind of cool. That is that is pretty cool. Or at obviously least some of them. Obviously they have a obviously they have a uh, bottling facility. Yeah. Which is cool. The only only thing that uh, I don't want to say disappointing because that's not the right word, but on the label. Yeah. For the uh, recycling, Michigan's on there, so I could probably get this. Uh, no, actually. So the way that recycling thing works is there are certain states that offer a deposit, and if, 
like I, I can get a you know a soda pop or whatever, and it's going to say Michigan on it as well. It's just those are the places that take carbonated drink beverages for recycling. They, they're just required to put them on there. Maybe they change it. Back, back in the day, uh, you used to get in trouble if you tried to cash in. Anything. Oh, yeah. Most of the time, it, it's up to the store because you, you have to take them into the store, right? And usually, it's if they don't sell it, they won't take it back because there are chains that, like Fred Meyers, you guys probably don't have Fred Meyers. Or, but, no, we don't. But, uh, you know, they have their own brand of soda. And so none of the other stores, you know, Safeway down the road won't take it back, be yeah, because it's not their soda. I get it. It might be a requirement too. Because I'm talking like 15 years ago, but anyway, yeah. way to kill a good conversation. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm yeah, we'll my better better in here. Uh, yeah, but yeah. It's an overall, a pretty decent beer. 8.5 percent. It's pretty strong. It's not the strongest I've had by any stretch of the stretch of the imagination, but I got. Wait till, wait till you get you get what I what I sent you, man. You're gonna, uh, that's pretty high, pretty high alcohol percentage. Oh yeah. yeah. I think the the highest one that I had was like an eleven percent, and that was Ooh, it was too much. It was too much beer. Yeah, it starts getting uh. Less tasty. Then it's not as not as good as the beer. But yeah. this one, the one I'm the one I'm gonna send you. Uh, it's uh pretty good. Flavors galore. But anyway, we're talking about this. Uh, the worthy brew, the worthy brewing Imperial IPA, and uh, so do you happen to, uh, off the top of your head, like randomly know how many breweries, micro craft beer breweries, uh, Oregon has? Oh, it, it's something like I want to say it's like around. Well, P Portland alone has like 125. Damn. Um, and that's just in Portland. Um, I mean, if you think about it, you know, one that you're going to recognize right off the bat is Henry Weinhardt's. Like, everybody knows that name now because they're, they got big and sold out to Coors and whoever they, whoever the fuck they sold out to. You know what? I probably wouldn't even look at that beer. Nope, I, and I don't at this point. I used to when I was, uh... I've never heard of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Unless... Unless they have a specific, like, name or something, I might reach for uh, I mean, the, their one is the Henry Weinhardt's Private Reserve is their kind of claim to fame. Um, but, you know, it started off as a tiny little, uh, tiny little uh, warehouse operation in downtown Portland, on the west side of Portland. And, and then they got, yeah, got they bought got, out. Kind of like, yeah, they got big and they got bought out. Kind of like Wine and Kugels. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I never really drank beer. You know, my dad started brewing beer a little bit, and uh, he, he was drinking wine. I don't know if someone was that bad anyway, or they taste like shit. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Lenny Kugels is kind of what got me into appreciating beer that is good, and that's pretty commercial. Yeah. Uh, in today's regard, but. Like Sam Adams. Years ago. Yeah, no, it is, but Sam Adams has some decent beers. Oh, yeah, they have I'm some okay gonna... beer. I, yeah, uh, I'm not, you know. Being born and raised in Portland, I am kind of a beer snob. No, that's beer. fine. I'm a beer snob a beer, now, but. Beer and beer snob, because um, that's how we roll up here. That's, hey, man, I live in Michigan, so we're not. Hey, not you're only one high. step ahead. C4 has been set. Oh no, he's just singing away. He's he's liking the conversation. <laughs> Boo Boo is my cool. uh, parrot. He's, he's a good he's a good bird most of the time. Flash the <laughs> picture of Boo Boo. Yeah, yep. Flash the picture of Boo Boo. Uh, funny anyway, I like I like this. Uh... It's a lot. It's a lot smoother. 
um, than what I've been drinking lately. What have you been uh, drinking? The, uh, oh man, a bunch of different shit. Oh, okay. Uh, like literally. <laughs> I like to uh, try at least once a week. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge uh, IPA guy, so I like to uh, try to try something new once a week. Sometimes it turns into once every two weeks, but... I, uh, I got a, I got a favorite, and it's, uh, out of Michigan, but, I mean, as far as, there's some good beers all across the country that you'll never get to taste because yeah. you can only get them in a glass at the, at the, at the bar, at the bar so. yeah, 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 and most, you know, the stuff that, that I can send out is not their top shelf, you know, if you go to their brew pub, you're going to have something yeah, way oh, better yeah. on tap. But it does, you know, all the bottled stuff does provide a good baseline for, you know, the rest of their beer, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yeah, it's I, good stuff. I enjoy this good. beer. I appreciate, I appreciate you sending it. It tastes pretty damn good. Well, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And uh, if anybody else wants to uh, get in on a beer exchange program, just uh, let myself or Epic know, and we can, we can do the do the thing. We're not going to open this worldwide. No, not worldwide. Yeah, go to TDC. Yeah. So if you are beer connoisseurs, I'm looking for a cool ass clan with other beer connoisseurs. Like copper or whatever the hell that shit is. Nah, uh, man, all anybody ever drank was Bush Light and Bud Light. Yeah, they don't piss water. I don't like light beers, man. You know, I, I, actually, I like you know, maybe, maybe I'll have to send you a light beer next time from a microbrewery because there are good light beers. Um, I'm surprised, man. I had a light beer the other day that was like 6.5% and tasted like real beer, but didn't, you know, wasn't super heavy. Uh, I don't see. I like I like quality over quantity. Well, I know, but that's I, I, I'm not saying you need to. That's what I'm saying is you don't need to drink a lot to get you know. Yeah, no, no, I understand. Six, six percent, six and a half percent, pretty, uh, pretty decent. What are the uh, the big box beers? Like four point three? Oh, like uh, Coors Light or something? Three point eight. Yeah, one, yeah, it's like three, three or four percent, I think. So on a side note, uh, my little brother, my only brother, his name is Lyndon. He works at a brewery in Montana. He just won a bronze award for his alternative polka. Amber, which was a match to uh, Weird Al, and uh, I'm pretty proud of him because uh, it was his own recipe and uh, that kicks ass. It does kick ass, man. You should tell him to bottle some up and send it, it out here. Yeah. Uh, he, he, uh, he might be able to bottle it. I don't know if they. I think it's just a little, a little bar. But anyway, if you're ever out in Livingston, Montana. I'm gonna Stop be close. Here. I'm gonna be in Helena, but I don't think I'll have time to drive all the way out there. Well, if anybody else wants to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the extent of the North American Beer Awards, but I mean, I think it was North America—that's pretty. Yeah, you know, but it's I pretty mean, far-reaching. I could, I, could, I could start one up too. Yeah. I just feel like I'm typically failing in this conversation. Go figure, huh? Oh no, you're fine, man. We're all, uh, we're all. You know, I'm half, half your deep already. Dude, yeah, me too, man. I'm about to uh, Got eyes refresh. On an enemy sniper located to your north. I had already had a shit. 
I hope you're getting some decent footage because yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> doing all right, doing all right. Yeah, I like this mirror. Pretty tasty. Yeah, it's pretty good. It uh. It's not something that I buy every day, you know. Normally, I stick with uh, some other some other breweries that are also local and, and good breweries, uh, just because they're a little cheaper than these. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's the thing with you gotta you gotta pay for beer. Yeah, I and you know these these guys, even though I live in the states, they're brewed. They're not they're not cheap. Right, at all. I mean, I look at it. Some people, well, not some people, certain people in my life, co-workers and certain friends, uh, you know, they're the, uh, 30 pack type of dudes. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. Oh, homie don't play and that I'd, game. I'd rather, I'd rather pay for a four pack of something good than a 30 pack of beer. Yeah, I'm with so. you. And guess what? I'm gonna have a better drunk because I'm gonna be drunk on the floor here if I spend sixteen dollars on it. Yeah. Or catch All right. So that was our uh, that was our beer tasting and <laughs> and uh, battlefield round number one. Sure, we're gonna have more in the future. Um, so yes, yeah, stay stay tuned and click that like button. Get drunk. Always get drunk.